Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received, more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do is I need for you to give me all that fun-loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment, you can share, you can subscribe, you can just do all those beautiful, lovely, magical things that you do to me so well here at Talia's Tarot. So, I'm going to slap it down as the holy water. Ah, so good in the neighborhood, my beautiful Pisces. So, you know what time it is, baby. Yeah, yeah. Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T. T. Dome, presiding. You can all lay down. So, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with, or whatever energy might be approaching you. For all I know, it could be your own energy. Mm -hmm. Whatever the case is, we will get it, we will hit it, and we will quit it together like we always do, baby. Yeah, yeah. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Whoa, okay. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Okay. Show me the energy of the person my be Okay, right on. <clears throat> All right, Pisces. Okay. Your person here, they're wanting to talk. Mm-hmm. Yep. Your person's thinking heavily about you here. All right. They're doing a lot of thinking about you here. Uh, whatever happened here, this person is in the middle of something very, very painful. Okay. The universe has basically uh, forced this person to look at things from a different perspective here. Okay. We've got the Queen of Swords energy here. This could be your energy or it could be their energy here. Okay. But uh, it's all about cutting something out here okay i don't know mm -mm -mm. okay pisces we're gonna get into this reading a little bit here uh and i didn't bring my sword out but you know i still like a good sword fight okay but we're gonna talk to the hangman because that's screaming uh pain to me <clears throat> being in the hangman is not a very good energy to be in okay because hangman it's kind of like you know imagine a a caterpillar you know that it's got to change into a butterfly so it surrounds itself in a cocoon and the whole and the whole entire process is very painful okay but it's a very transformative energy here I'm gonna go ahead and get some protection stones in case the cards fly away okay so what's going on here under this hangman energy please what's going on under this hangman energy what's going on here under this hangman energy What's going on with this person under this hangman energy? <clears throat> What's going on here? Seven cups. Let's get one more hangman with a seven of cups. Hangman with a seven. Okay. Hold on. That card flew down on the ground. Ugh. Gotta get it. I'm on a picnic table, so it's kind of hard. Okay. Okay. Well, seems like this person is starting to figure out what they want out of life. Yeah. So what is this person wanting out of life? What is this person wanting out of life now? What are they wanting out of life? What are they wanting here? Mm -hmm. I've realized that they want their soulmate. Mm -hmm. And you are their soulmate. This is what's come through here. Wow, Pisces. Yeah, you got somebody here that's really wanting to connect with you here. Under this energy, Pisces, I wouldn't be surprised if this person fantasized about you. Just so you know. 
I am getting that strong energy here. They, they, it's like they've fantasized you quite a bit here. Fantasized about you quite a bit here. It's like you are their fantasy here. But we're going to have to get into this reading a little bit more here, Pisces. Okay, so what are they thinking about Pisces here under this energy here? Six cups. What are they thinking about Pisces under this six cups energy, please? What are they thinking about Pisces under this six cups energy? What are they thinking about Pisces under this six cups energy? Yeah. I love you, Pisces. I love you, Pisces. I love Pisces. I love I love I love my Pisces. They have a lot of love here. There's a lot of love. A lot of love between the two of you. Okay? Okay. All right. So let's go six cups with the ace of cups. Let's go a little deeper. Six cups, ace cups, please. Six cups, ace cups. Let's go a little deeper. Sure. Yep. I want you and I want to work. I want to continue to work on this connection. I want to communicate better. Why are they wanting to communicate better to Pisces, please? Why are they wanting to communicate? Yeah. They want to tell you where they, they want this to go. They want to, they want to move past, they want to move forward here, okay? Yep, the chariot here. Fast, food, fast moving energy here. Yep. So you've got somebody here that's really up in their feelings about you, Pisces. Okay. So what's going on with the fool energy here? Let's talk to the fool energy here in Pisces person's energy. Fool. Let's talk to this fool energy. Yeah. Yep. That's the world. Very powerful card. And I could go as to far as to say it. This person here, they think the world of you as well. The world. You're very powerful. They want this person wants an opportunity here with you. Yep, the fool with the world. That's pretty intense energy there, Pisces. Alone in and of itself. Let's go a little deeper here with the fool in the world, please. Let's go a little deeper with the fool in the world. Oh, my cards are my God! I miss shuffle deck. Excuse me, guys. Let's go a little deeper with the fool in the world. Oh, boy. This deck is really taken. It's not an old deck, but I tell you what. This is the one I do uh, answer questions for with a live, and it's ripped up. All right. Fool with the world. Fool with the world. Show me the fool with the world, please. Let's go. They want their queen, Pisces. Yep. They want their queen. Queen cups right there, baby. Yep. They want their love. They want love. Oh, mm, boy. We've got the Queen of Swords energy down here on the table. So let's see why she's here. Why is this Queen of Swords here? Okay. What's this Queen of Swords hiding with the moon? What's this Queen of Swords hiding with the moon, please? What's this Queen of Swords hiding with the moon? Hold on a second. I feel the wind coming on. What's this Queen of Swords with the moon, please? What's this Queen of Swords hiding? What's this Queen of Swords hiding with the moon? What are, yeah. Yeah. And they're not showing. They come across very stoic. Very cold. Okay. So this person is not showing how hurt they are right now. They're hurting. Why is this person hurting so much right now with this connection? Why are they hurt? Why are they hurt so much right now? Why is this person hurting so much? Why is this person hurting so much? Why is this person hurting so much, please? Why is this person hurting so much? Why are they hurting so much? Because they're hurting. Because it was time for them to offer you something here. Okay. 
and it seems like they didn't see the opportunity here to offer you anything. Okay. So if you're in a no-contact situation, we're going to find out here real quick. Uh, if Pisces is in a no-contact situation with this person at this time, uh, will this person be reaching out to Pisces within the next week? Yeah. Mm. It's basically saying it's not yet to be. There's no answer here right now. Okay. So if you're in no contact, uh, there is no quite a quite clear answer right now. Okay. So when this, of course, it's up to this person's free will as if, if they want to reach out to you or not. But you got somebody here who definitely is in a lot of pain and they're missing you here, Pisces. Okay. But basically at the end of the day, you know, they didn't, the time was now to offer you something and they didn't take the time to offer you something and now they're feeling a lot of guilt here around this connection here Pisces so Pisces I love you so much thanks for stopping by and I'm here seven days a week uh, I know the algorithms when you guys type in Talia's tarot make sure you type in the apostrophe okay I was gonna take the apostrophe out but I mean come on like I don't know what had happened before because I come up no problem uh, but now I don't come up for some odd reason okay so make sure you uh, type in the apostrophe okay if you type in the apostrophe uh you'll be able to find me all right um so i know some of you can find me and some of you can't but i'm here for you always babies i love you oh yeah tarot's adjourned i think i stopped this heck if i know <laughs>